Hey up you lot, welcome back to the channel. Um, got a chance to catch up with a movie that I've meant to watch for quite a while uh, last night. Uh, a couple of people have told me about it, said that it's absolutely amazing, really, really good. Um, so I thought uh, we'll, we'll have a go at that. It's called Greta, made in 2018. Um, it's directed by Neil Jordan, who was behind uh, three of my all-time favourite movies, The Crying Game, uh, Mona Lisa uh, with Bob Hoskins and Michael Caine, um, and also The Company of Wolves, uh, which is a brilliant uh, fantasy uh, sort of movie based around the, uh, the story of um, Red Riding Hood. So um, it had all the makings with him behind the camera of being an absolutely brilliant film. It stars Chloe Grace Moretz. Uh, the only thing I've seen her in um, is Hugo a few weeks ago. Uh, the Martin Scorsese uh, French-based uh, family film and also I saw her quite a few years ago in the 2013 remake of Brian De Palma's Carrie uh, she played Carrie White in that it also stars Isabel Huppert um, I've looked through her filmography and I know none of them apart from one a French movie called Elle uh, which has been recommended to me it's a long movie so I've got to find at least two and a half hours to sit through that one but I've been recommended that one so I'm going to give that one a go where to start with it? Um, Chloe Grace Moretz plays Francis, uh, a young lady living in New York with a roommate. Uh, she's a waitress in a quite high class establishment. Um, and riding on the subway after work one day, she finds a leather handbag um, on one of the seats. She picks the bag up, takes it to the lost and found, which is closed and decides to uh, find out who the bag belongs to, goes through the contents, takes it back, it belongs to a lady called Greta. Um, that's basically all I want to tell you about it because it will spoil it if I tell you any more. Uh, I think pretty much everybody will know where it's going. Within 15, 20 minutes, it gets to where it wants to go. Um, and that's probably my biggest, biggest issue with it. Um, I pretty much knew exactly where it was headed uh, after about 20 minutes. Um, really, really well done. It's, it's a good, taut, uh, tense thriller, without a doubt. Um, it reminded me a lot of Fatal Attraction. There's a clue as to where it's going if you've not seen it. Um, it, it was really, really good um, up until probably the last hour when the character of Greta really, really started to grate with me. Uh, there was one scene in particular, which again, I can't really tell you about because it'll give it away. Um, but it, it, I just found her intensely irritating. Um, I saw it through to the end. I, I, I thought it was really good. Uh, the, the thing that redeemed it is a really, really clever plot twist about 10 minutes from the end, which, which I absolutely did not see coming. Um, so it's, it's worth watching just for that. Don't get me wrong, the film is good, um, it's well acted. Chloe Grace Moretz is absolutely superb as Francis, even though in everything I've ever seen, she always looks as if she's about to burst into tears. Is it just me? Um, she just looks like she's on the verge of tears all the time. Um, but I guess she can't help with that, that's just the way she looks. <laughs> it's not her fault. Um, but yeah, the, the film is excellent, I'm, I'm not knocking it. it, it's just that it didn't do as much for me as I thought it would. Um, and I think it's mostly because I knew uh, exactly what was, well not exactly, but pretty much what was going to happen. Um, and I think it was the predictability of it, uh, especially towards the last half hour when I was just basically shouting at the TV, for Christ's sakes, not again. Um, so yeah, um, I know there's a few fans of it out there. Dave Lowe, one of my colleagues at work, he's seen it, liked it. Steve McCartney was talking about it last night, saying he saw it at the cinema and absolutely loved it. Um, I just thought it was okay. Um, I wouldn't highly recommend it to anybody, but if, if you're looking for a, a passable way to spend an hour and three quarters, you could do a lot worse than watch Greta. So yeah, um, it's just, to me, it was just a little bit predictable. But that is just my opinion. Feel free to disagree with it. Right, that's it. That's my thoughts on uh, Greta. Uh, as I say, grab it if you can. It's worth a watch. Um, but uh, 
I wouldn't rush out to. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Buy, I wouldn't buy it on Blu-ray. Let's put it that way. It wouldn't. It wouldn't actually find its way into my uh, Blu-ray collection. But uh, it was a passable way to spend an hour and a half, without a doubt. Right. I'll catch you all again soon. Um, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe. That would be brilliant. And I will talk to you all again very, very shortly. Take care. Bye bye.